Good morning, dear students. Welcome to another video lesson in Mathematics Grade 10 on probability of simple events. Okay, so let's start. So probability of simple events. Here are the objectives. First one, students will be able to find the probability of simple event. Second, Students will be able to understand the distinction between simple events and compound events. Essential questions. First, how do I find the probability of a simple event? Second, how can I distinguish between a simple and compound event? Okay, so here are the list of vocabulary words. First one, outcome. One possible result of a probability. Second, sample space. The list of possible outcomes for a probability event. Random, outcomes that occur at random if each outcome is equally likely to occur. Simple event, a specific outcome or type of outcome. And complementary events. The events of one outcome happening and that outcomes not happening are complementary. The sum of the probabilities of complementary events is 1. So let's take a look for one real-world example. Best Buy is having an iPod giveaway. They put all the iPod shuffles in a bag. So customers may choose an iPod without looking at the color. Inside the bag are 4 orange, 5 blue, 6 green, and 5 pink iPods. If Maria chooses one iPad at random, what is the probability she will choose an orange iPad? So let's take a look on the solution. So the probability of getting an orange iPad. So there are a total of 20 uh, iPads in the bag. So if we get the probability of getting orange, there are four orange iPods inside the bag. So we have four out of 20. So reduce it into its lowest term. We, have, we will get two, o 2 over 10 or that is equal to 1 over 5 or 20 percent. What is a probability? So probability is the chance that some event will happen. It is the ratio of the number of ways a certain event can occur to the number of possible outcomes. So let's have the probability of an event is equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. Examples that use probability, we have your one dice. Second, spinners, coins, deck of cards, events and odds, also alphabet. So we have here the range from 0% to 100%. Okay, so 0%, impossible, and then 25%, one fourth or 0 0.25, not very likely. 50%, 1 half or 0 0.5, equally likely. 75%, 3 fourth or 0 0.75, somewhat likely. And 100%, 1, which is certain. So we have example number 1, roll a dice. What is the probability of rolling a fork? So a die has 6 faces, numbered 1 to 6. So to get the probability of event, we have to get the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. So the event is rolling a 4. So there are only one face of the die that is numbered 4. So we have only one favorable outcome and then the uh, number of possible outcomes will be 6. So the probability of rolling a 4 is... 1 out of 6. Next. Still on rolling a die, what is the probability of rolling an even number? So, how many uh, faces of the die has 
an even number. So, we have to get the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. So, the event, rolling an even number, we have three uh, even numbers in that uh, outcome. So, we have also six possible outcomes. Reducing into its lowest term, 3 over 6, we have 1 half. So, the probability of rolling an even number is 3 out of 6 or 0 0.5 or that is 50%. Another, in spinners. So, what is the probability of spinning green? So, in that uh, spinner, there are four colors. Uh, yellow, blue, red, and then green. So, we have... Uh, to get the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. So the probability of getting green, we have 1. And then the possible outcomes, we have 4. So the probability of spinning green is 1 out of 4 or 0 0.25 or that is 25%. So next is flip a coin. So, what is the probability of flipping a tail? So, when you have your coin, there are only two possible outcomes. Getting a tail or getting a head. So, we have to get the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. So, the event probability of getting a tail, we have only one out of two. So, the probability of flipping a tail is 1 out of 2 or 0 0.5 or that is 50%. Next, deck of cards. So, what is the probability of picking a heart? So, in the deck of cards, there are 52 cards in it. So, the number of favorable outcomes, we have 13 because there are 13 hearts in the 52 standard deck of cards. And then the number of possible outcomes, 52, because there are 52 cards. So when we reduce its lowest term, 13 over 52, that is equal to 1 fourth. So the probability of picking a heart is 1 out of 4 or 0 0.25 or 25%. Next, what is the probability of picking a non-heart? So we will... Uh, get the number of cards which is not hard. So the number of possible outcomes, we have 39 cards remaining which is not hard. And then the number of possible outcomes, we have 52. So 39 over 52 or that will be equal to 3 fourth. So the probability of picking a non heart is 3 out of 4 or 0 0.75 or 75%. So let's have the key concepts in getting the probability of simple events. First, the probability is the chance that some event will happen. Second, it is the ratio of the number of ways a certain event can occur to the total number of possible outcomes. So always remember that. So let's have another practice. So, calculate the probability of each independent event. 1. The probability of getting black. 2. The probability of getting 1. 3. The probability of having an odd number. And then, let's have the solutions. So, the first one, probability of getting black. So, there are 8 numbers in that spinners. So, we have your possible outcomes are 8 and then the number of favorable outcomes is 4 because there are 4 uh, block numbers. So that is equal to 4 out of 8 or 1 half. Next, the probability of getting 1. So in that spinner numbered 1 to 8, there are only uh, one number that is numbered 1. So the probability of getting 1 is equal to 1 out of 8. And then the probability of having an odd number is equal to 1 half. Because uh, numbers 3, 5, 7, and 1 are odd numbers. So there are 4 out of 8 uh, getting its lowest term. We, 
we have one half. Next, another, we get the probability of getting red, probability of two, and then probability of not red. And next, probability of having an even number. Okay, so answers, the probability of having red is equal to one half. Correct? Next one. Probability of getting two. Okay, that's correct. It's one fourth because there are only uh, one space or one part of the spinner that is numbered number two. Okay, next, number three. Probability of not red, still one half. So there are two colors in that spinner that is not red. So, 2 out of 4 or reduce it to its lowest term, we have 1 half. Very good. And then number 4, probability of even is equal to 1 half also. So, there, there are two numbers that are even in that spinner. 2 and 4. So, did you get it? Okay, very good. So, that's all for today and see you on our next video lesson.